Hello, my name is Meiju. Welcome to watch my tutorial on how to do this lateral braid, which is also called Wickel braid or Estonian braid. Uh, it can be used, um, uh, for example, between stockinette stitch and uh, uh, ribbing, as I have used it here. It's perfect and it's quite easy to do. Also, if you are interested in how to do this tubular bind off that I have used here, that it's not, it's not too stretchy, the ribbing stretches more than the bind off actually, I will put the link below this video in the description box and also I will put a link above here in this video. Okay, here we go. Um, usually when you, you uh, do a lateral, lateral braid, um, you will cast on one extra stitch in the beginning. But now that I'm working it in a round and uh, I'm using it as a uh, in the be beginning of a neck uh, ribbing, so I have a pullover here, uh, some cables in front. So I have uh, picked up my stitches from the neckline and I have picked up one extra stitch that I would need. So usually when you start a lateral braid you will cast on one extra stitch that you will decrease uh, off in the end. But now I've just picked one extra stitch there. So let's go. Um, now if, if I would have cast on the stitch I would have it here. But that's my extra stitch that I had pick, picked up and I just uh, slide it back to the left hand needle. Then I will begin in, beginning to repeat. So here we go. I will go from the back to the next stitch and knit it through the back loop. And then I will uh, knit the first stitch on the left hand needle through the front loop. Then I will just drop both stitches from the needle and I will put this stitch back. Then I will repeat what I just did. I will go from the back and knit from to the back loop of the second stitch like that. Then I will, will knit the first stitch. Then I drop both off from the needle and I will put this stitch back. back. Let's do it again. I try to put my fingers a li little closer to the camera. Knit through the back loop of the next stitch, like that, and knit it to the first loop of the second stitch. Put it back. Now, these stitches will easily uh, get loose since they are kind of locked there because of your knitting repeats. So, if you want to make them slightly tighter. You just don't pull this loop too much. Like that. So now this stitch is smaller than the others before. Through the back loop of the last stitch. Uh, second stitch and through the front loop of the first stitch. And here's how you see how the lateral braid is starting to get there. Like that. Uh, I will work to the end and see, uh, show you what happens in the end. 
I will come back on that later. Okay, now I have finished my round or almost finished. I have one stitch left. Before the end of the round I placed a marker here just to indicate where I should stop. So what I'm doing now, I'm doing the last repeat. So I move the uh, last stitch of the previous repeat uh, to the left hand needle. I'm going from the back, knitting the uh, second stitch from the back loop and the uh, first stitch from the front loop and slipping them off and then um, I'm just going knit normally the first stitch and I'm bringing the stitch that I just worked over this stitch. As you can see since <coughs> since this we are knitting in the round so actually this um, these stitches quite, quite don't quite match because when knitting in the round we are uh, doing a a spiral in a sense so that's they don't go exactly there as they should but it's good enough and now I'm uh, going to start the ribbing so as this was my first stitch I'm placing the marker here it's a knit stitch I'm going to start my pattern or whatever pattern you might have there. That's it. Thank you for watching.